Hey guys, doing another video, doing some work on my Skyline GTR, working on the ignition setup this week. And I'm doing a R34 uh, GTR ignition conversion on my Skyline R32. Now what that means is what's different with the Skyline R32, of course they still use the RB26, but what's different in the R32 and the R33 is this igniter box back here, which is this guy right here. And what that does is that basically ignites each one of the coil packs, which I'll show you under here once I take that all apart. Uh, so those work in conjunction. The igniter tells the coil kind of when to fire, kind of like a uh, a rotor and cap does on a conventional older school car. Uh, but what this is going to do for me, R34 smart coils have the igniters built in, so that'll allow me to bypass the igniter box and if the igniter box is bad they're about six hundred dollars to buy from Japan they're expensive and so I ordered this wiring harness from wiring to wire wiring specialties that's going to allow me to basically tie this all this whole thing together so that'll allow me to bypass the igniter and plug in the smart coils because it has the right connections so uh, the issue I was having is I was having some misfire issues uh, mostly at higher boosts, so at like 12 PSI, 10 PSI or higher, uh, get kind of a retarded ignition timing, at like uh, four, four to 4,500 RPM starts kicking in. Uh, the other issue I was having, driving this thing down the freeway at about just under 100 kilometers an hour, so about 58 to 60 miles an hour, car's about 2,500 RPMs, it feels like I'm hitting a red line. And it's kind of intermittent, it's mostly when the car heats up. So it's either the igniter, the coils, or the harness themselves, so that's why I'm going to replace the whole setup. So let me take this apart, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Here's the Model 2 of that uh, split fire ignition coils, SFDIS005, and as you can see, they're for the Skyline BNR34. Uh, I ordered those from Right Hand Drive Japan and I got them for less than $400 from that company uh, versus buying them in the US on like eBay or Amazon they're about 600 bucks so a pretty good deal to order them directly from Japan and they were shipped to my house in Washington uh, in about five days so it's pretty quick alright so let's open these up I took one of the stock ignition coils out so you can kinda of see what it looks like in comparison got your uh, all your different six coil packs there and all your ignition wires that connect them uh, got the valve and show you what spark plugs I'm replacing it with I've got some NGK uh, iridium spark plugs here that I'm replacing it with model number is Uh, model series 5690 BCPR 7EIX and according to a lot of the Australian blogs, Canadian blogs and GTR USA blogs they recommend those plugs to work pretty well for this car for stock or just lightly modified people that are going to do daily driving so they're iridium tip and one step colder uh, the plugs I pulled out are here, and I've got, got quite a bit of wear on them. They look pretty, pretty felled up, so these are some NGKs as well. So I'm going to replace all six of those. I'll be back and start the car up. Uh, also, these new spark plugs that I'm replacing on here I took the time and put the anti-seize in all the plugs to keep them from it stuck in the cylinder head and then I'm also putting a thin layer of dielectric, dielectric grease on the coil packs themselves just right on the end of the, uh, the rubber housing to keep the, the biggest thing on the old ignition harness is I push in all these little tabs to remove them they all just snap they're all just broken so they don't even like secure into position. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna finish this stuff up and I'll be right back. Show you what it looks like after it's installed. Okay, so this is what the 
new coils look like after being installed. Uh, you can see that the mounting points, the original ones retained four original mounting points. The R34s only have three, so you're missing that one right there. But the other three holes uh, line up perfectly and everything fits just like the original uh, R32 coils. Got one more, I gotta slip in back there, which is right here. And then to compare the wiring harnesses, got the so the old one as you can see I mean you can just it's like no flex to it it's real brittle so a lot of other people I've seen on YouTube replace the old ones and they just stay with the old R32 uh, coil pack system I'm replacing this and converting it over but you can see this one's just seems a lot nicer it's a lot more flexible uh, Everything's labeled, so it tells you which uh, which coil goes where. Like that's coil pack six, all the way back up to here. Coil pack, coil pack one. So seems to be pretty nice quality. Looks, uh, I'd say, better than OEM. So let me get these put in, and then we'll fire the car up to see how it goes. All right, so the harness is all installed. Uh, it goes in. For fitment really really well um, everything retains uh, basically only on look but uh, like I said everything's labeled you got uh, can't really see it there but so that number one number two all the way through back through six uh, this is the plug that originally plugged into the uh, igniter chip so now that just plugs right in and bypasses that uh, retains the original ground which is all the way down here so it fits right in Get everything lines right up uh, and the advantage of doing this system again is reliability uh, because the igniters are built into the coils or smart coils now so it bypasses the igniter box which if this goes bad that's like 600 bucks itself to order that thing from Japan you can order this wiring harness for 150 bucks and the uh, coils for like 380 so with shipping and tax and everything you're just a little over 600 for the whole setup and it takes this thing out of the equation which makes it more reliable so anyway I'll go grab my keys we'll start it up see how she sounds alright guys here we go second video just to show how it sounds with the startup Here we go. Starts right up. Sounds pretty smooth. And I decided that I'm going to leave the the center cover off because from what I've read sometimes that causes so much heat inside the engine compartment that those coils and those wires cook so that'll help uh, keep things cooler and pr protect the long uh, longevity of those components thanks for watching guys I'll be back with more videos